take some pressure off when you're able to strike early in that first inning and hand the ball to Garrett Cole with a two-run lead? Uh, I mean, there's no 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 question that coming out like that with you know DJ getting getting in a good count and smoking a ball to right, and then obviously Aaron uh, going deep to give us that lead, knowing that. We got Garrett going. It's a great start to the night, but but you also realize um, it's just the, it's just that. And and playoff bo- baseball, you got to keep the throttle down. And and we did a great job of that tonight. Guys just up and down the batting order, just really good at bats. Made it real tough on a great great pitcher, and uh, and we're able to co- continue to add on, which is important in these games, especially when you're playing every day. Um, and then Garrett was you know Garrett was great. Major contributions from Glaber Torres tonight as well. Just the offense as a whole. Why do you think things clicked so well for you tonight? I don't know. You know, I think you know. Obviously, having a couple of days of getting ready for for Shane Bieber, and um, you know, I just thought, you know, the guys had a great plan, and and Marcus and PJ and everyone putting together a great plan to, you know, going up against. You know, you're up against an ace, and. Uh, I mean, just the quality of at bats. I felt like up and down the order, even even some, you know, balls where we didn't get hits um, that first time through after we scored the two. I just felt like the swing decisions were really good, and and, and that's that's the key with Bieber. If you're going to have a chance against him, you got to make quality swing decisions, and I felt like the guys did that all all night long. We'll take the next one from Bruce Beck. Aaron, did anything surprise you about the way this team raised its level here in game one of the postseason? Um, I'm never surprised when, when we play play well like that. Or, um, I know what they're capable of. Um, I know they're a confident crew. And um, and and I, I didn't doubt that coming in about where we'd be at mentally or, or our confidence or our focus. And... Um, you know, clearly tonight it was excellent, um, but it's it's just one game. Take the next one from Brendan Cuddy. Hey, Aaron, you mentioned how it's just one game, and I guess they all count the same, but does winning game one feel even bigger, you know, especially in a short series like this? I mean, we'll have to look back at the end of it, and, you know, it's... This is a really good way to start out a series against a really good team, against a great pitcher, um, and have Garrett throw the ball the way he did is big. But, you know, we got to go do it again now, and, and it's time to turn the page. What did you think of Brett's night? Uh, great. I mean, <laughs> just really good at bats. Obviously a homer out the front door to really pad the lead, but just felt like his double at the time um, – to, to give us another run and, and pad the lead a little bit seemed huge. And then uh, and then the throw one out there off the lefty at the end. Um, just a great night by, by Gardy. Really happy for him. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Next one to Andy Martino. Aaron, you, you just talked about Marcus and PJ and how they helped uh, uh, hitters prepare for Bieber. Can you talk a little bit about what the uh, your advanced team, your advanced scouts, and, and the analytics people also uh, do generally and, and did tonight to help you prepare for that matchup? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're very instrumental in, in everything we do. And obviously, when you get into a playoff situation where, where you've had scouts, you know, I, I felt like when we had our meeting with our advanced scouts um, the other day, um, you know, it's a very detailed report. It's a very... You know, in my opinion, very a quality re- report, and it and it adds a little color and just adds a little bit more detail um, to to a plan when you go into a series. And um, it was really good to see it really come to fruition here in this first game. And when you talk about swing decisions, is that sort of another way to say knowing which I mean, he's got such great off speed stuff, knowing which to swing at, knowing what to take, and it just is that pitch recognition? Yeah, yeah I think it. Game. Yeah, I think it's that. But look, with with Bieber, I mean, when you're talking about a pitcher of his caliber and a guy that, you know, struck out over 120 batters in however many innings he finished, you know, a big reason is because he gets swings and misses out of the zone. He starts with great fastball command, elite, you know, really good characteristics to his fastball, but then works that breaking ball off it. And if and if you chase, which is 
is easy to do against him, you're in trouble. And I thought overall the guys did not do that, and that that ultimately was the key to having a lot of success against them. Thanks. Next one to Joel Sherman. Aaron, I, I wonder, do you find that your team performs better, looser when Judge performs well and produces big? There's, there's no doubt that he's he's a. I mean, obviously a great player and, and, you know, huge between the lines for us. But there's no doubt that I think the edge he kind of has and plays with um, and when he's rolling, it, it rubs off in, from an energy standpoint on our team. And, you know, anytime he's out of the lineup and, and this year when he's been out in this COVID environment where he's, you know, wasn't in the dugout a lot, um, he has a presence in there that that is – that I, I think the guys feed off a little bit. We'll take the next one from Dave Lennon. Darren, the way the way that Cole started out this game, uh, even when the even when the Indians were hanging around a little bit early, did you just have the sense that he kind of had this game in his hand, that he was going to be that 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 kind of guy tonight? Um, <clears throat> I thought he looked really sharp. I, I thought he had, again, all four pitches mixed in and part of you know he, he leaned on all of them um you know i thought they had good some good at bats against them though in the first few innings to kind of hang around and you know get them for two runs um they did a good job but you know he just made a lot of big pitches i, I think he ended up not walking anyone and he had a couple times where he got into three two three two counts and made a pitch and 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 those were big pitches to you know, keep his pitch count down and to really just polish off a, a impressive night.